What's going on, y'all? I just got up. I worked third shift last night and I slept about two hours. I couldn't sleep no more, so I thought I'd do a little work on the Sendero HD. And I actually wanted to put some uh, link mounts on it. Here you go, Samex link mounts, and I'll show y'all how to do that. This can really help your enduro trucks if you got any kind of uh, element enduro truck. As you see, we already got the. There's two things I like to do these trucks. I got two of them. Is put the brass knuckles on, which I don't know if you can see that right in there, and replace these links with brass links. These four links. This is two real inexpensive upgrades that do a lot for this truck to get the weight down low and it won't get this truck too heavy but it will uh, really help this truck as far as uh, climbing side healing it just totally improves this truck I'm gonna say probably 30 to 40 percent over what it was stock so I'm gonna put the camera up here on the tripod and we'll get this underway Okay, here we go. The first thing you want to do, you'll want to remove all four wheels. That way, I'm too fresh from getting in the way. That way, that way you can uh, get to the links. These are links. These are the brass links. So first thing we got to do is take these. Uh, where's my drivers at? Here they are. Take these links off, and the way you do that is you take this rod off this link here. Remove that screw. Take that link loose. And then there's two screws in the front. Right up here in the front, you take them loose. I just usually like to just do one at a time if I can. And you've got four of them and sometimes uh, on some of these but it's not the element enduro but sometimes you have one like if you're using maybe a Traxxas TRX4 one to be a little bit different and the reason that one's a little bit different is because it's got your pan hard mount actually on it pan hard mount on these are actually mounted on the axle I was going to do one at a time, and I done started on the other one. Okay, and they just pop off there. Take your shock loose. Shock is mounted to the side. Just like that. That's your stock plastic link mount now we will open up these and i believe all four of these are the same i'm always positive all four of them are the same yeah you can tell i don't clean my trucks uh the way i clean them is work on them and whatever falls off on the desk uh vacuum it off and that's pretty much it. Here's the uh, model number for these. These are mostly like for the Gatekeeper, the Enduro, the what was the Etho, the Sendero HD, mostly all the Enduros. I think it is. Here's the uh, number so you can see it's END-4042. Okay. 
All these look exactly the same, just as I was expecting. So we will just start linking them up. I guess I might put my shock on last. And then put these uh, Put the link. Back. It goes with the. I need a better, better camera angle, really, for y'all. I think that's uh, the wrong screw. I need the short one. I think it was the shock screw, if I'm not mistaken. No, oh, maybe it is. Let's see. Oh, that's the right screw. There we go. And now we'll put the shock. There's a separate hole. Uh, down here at the bottom for the shock down at the bottom That's where your shock mounts You just repeat this process four times and there's nothing to it This is really one of the best ways you can just start to upgrade your truck whether it be an enduro or TRX4 an axial or anything you can change these shock links out if you can change these shock links out and get that weight down low it just totally helps the truck well i hope y'all enjoyed that video i'm um, gonna start doing some more instructional videos some stuff that some people might just consider simple but i understand we got a lot of young people in this hobby and they need to uh need somewhere to learn this stuff and uh, learn how to do it correctly and i'm gonna try to teach it correctly but that's it remember till next time i love you but god loves you more